The attack table determines all the math behind your damage as a melee DPS player. It's what's behind weapon skill. Here are some fun facts. Dual wielding gives you an extra 19% chance to miss with auto attacks. Just with auto attacks though. Creatures your level have a 5% chance to dodge you, and for every level a creature gains on you, they get an additional half a percent chance to dodge. So that would mean a boss level mob, if it was 3 levels above you, would have a 6.5% chance to dodge. It works the same way with parry. Other than one thing, if a monster is 3 levels above you, it gets an additional 7.5% chance more to parry your attacks. Yeah, kinda crazy, right? So this means a boss level mob has a 14% chance to parry you. 5% from the base parry, 1.5% from the half a percent times 3, and then 7.5% from the penalty that you receive from attacking something 3 levels or greater than you. Remember, this is just for parry. You also lose crit strike chance as the monster level increases. You lose 1% chance to crit for every level a monster is above you. So that means a boss level mob will have a 3% lower chance to be critically hit by you. But this isn't the only thing that a 3 level higher mob would have over you. It turns out that Although it's 1% penalty per level difference, if the difference is at 3 or more, there's an additional 1.8% that gets added on top. So that means when you're attacking any boss, you have 4.8% less chance to crit than it says on your actual character sheet. This is referred to as crit suppression. Here's a little graph that shows some more details. It's complicated. Don't worry about it unless you're bored. <laughs> now for hit rating and the attack table. You have a 5% chance to miss a target if it's the same level as you. And for every level above you it is, there will be an additional 1% chance to miss stacked on top of that. But if they're 3 levels above you, they get a bonus 1%. <laughs> this is our entry point into the attack table. But first, let's summarize the info we've gone over so far. If a mob is the same level as you, you have a 5% chance for dodge, 5% chance for parry, and a 5% chance for a miss. Every level the mob goes up, the parry chance goes up half a percent, and the dodge chance goes up half a percent too. But the hit chance goes down 1% per level up, and your crit chance against the monster also goes down 1% per level up. There's also three bonuses that occur when the mob is three levels greater than you. You lose 1.8% chance to crit, 1% chance to hit, and also the mob gets an extra 7.5% chance to parry. That means a boss level monster has these statistics, 6.5% dodge, 5 from the base, 1.5 from the three level difference, 14% parry, which would be 5 from the base, 1.5% from the level difference, and then 7.5% because it's 3 levels or greater. Also, there'll be a 9% chance to miss, 5 from the base, 3 times for the level difference, and then 1 because it's 3 levels greater, a 4.8% crit suppression value, same deal with the math, and then 5% block chance. I didn't mention block chance before because it just doesn't really matter, and it's 5% regardless of creature level. Now for the attack table. This applies to white hits. That means auto attacks. You cannot glance on an ability, a yellow hit, whatever you want to call it. So that means if you have Heroic Strike activated, you're not glancing. Glance chance is based on your level difference, not your underlying weapon skill versus the monster's defense skill. Here's a table. 10% glance chance against monsters your level. Glance chance goes up by 10% per level, at least until boss level. I haven't checked if this continues. I don't know the meta for attacking level 20s as a level 10, alright? Glance penalty is 5% when you're the same level or one level under your target. It's 15% at 2 levels, and it's 35% at 3 levels. Your gear cannot change the percentage of glances that you get, but it can change the percent damage reduction penalty because weapon skill is on gear and it impacts how much damage you lose from a glance. Remember, weapon skill will not make you get less glances, it'll just make each glance you get matter less. This table shows how often you miss, what your hit cap is, and what is your glance penalty. It's based on the differences between your weapon skill and the target's defense skill, which is shown on the left column. Edge Masters gives 7 weapon skill, so you'd be here on the table. 
you have 307 skill with your weapon. The boss has 315 defense. This means you have a difference or a delta of 8. Notice how you'd have had a hit cap of 5.8%. This means that if you had 5% hit on your gear, you'd have a 0.8% chance to miss. Huh, maybe crit beats hit for you in this situation, even though you're under the soft cap. Just food for thought, I'd definitely sim it before making a determination like that, though. You'll see how you have a 7% glance damage penalty. That's much better than the 35% you would have had without those gloves. Now for the most confusing part of this table. Why is mischance separated from hit chance? Monsters with 11 or more defense than you have weapon skill get an extra 1% hidden chance for you to miss. That is why it jumps up over 1% when it goes from 10 to 11. Don't get hung up on this hit-miss part of the table. Pretend the hit cap column is the only one there. Ignore the mischance column. You won't get anything wrong by looking at it that way. My sources are in the description. Thank you, Meiji, for creating this information for everybody. And definitely use the Guybrush Sim if you're trying to make decisions about how to gear your character in any version of the game. I'll link that too.